everything we know is about to change. We have come back in time. We are starting from the beginning. We are back in Dungeon Quest as just a measly level one. Well, technically level four because I cannot make a new account. Because today we are starting our Noob to Godly series and it's gonna have a secret twist. So I think it's only fair that I show you exactly what is going to happen. It has been a while since I have seen this type of vibe here in Dungeon Quest and I didn't actually start my journey here on Dungeon Quest via the YouTube side in Desert Temple. So today we are going into uncharted territory that I have never been to before here on my channel. So hello everyone, we are in Desert Temple. Yes, we are on my alternative account and this is the best time to start this event today because we are starting as technically level one. We are level four, mainly because we did one round on stream one time as a warrior. We did this video, it just got back, but I cannot physically make a new account because the Roblox Verify for new account system is currently broken and if I can get it working within like the next day, I will switch to that account. But for now, we are on Kira Bayri, my alternative account, but we have gone back in time. We have basically rebirthed. We are reborn. We are here as a fresh level one. And if you don't know what this means is we're starting a brand new series. So every single like episode of this series is going to be a new dungeon, mainly because we have a lot of dungeons to go over. We have desert, we have winter, we have pirate, Kings, Underworlds, Samurai, Canals, Ghostly, Steampunk, Orbital, Volcanic Chambers, and even Egg Island. We, we may do an extra episode on Egg Island, but every single episode is going to be a different dungeon, and I am so excited for it because today we are starting in Desert Temple from level one. So we're stuck in Desert Temple easy mode right now, but I did mention we are going to have a twist, and if you did not see my video from the other day, the owner, V. Kathy Vinny, who has been like one of my really closest friends here on Dungeon Quest for a long time, actually is helping me out. I know that people wanted to see me do a Noob to Godly series, and it was just going to be, um, I don't know. Everyone wanted me to do the series, so it, it's, it's a weird thing. It's like, I want to start over again, but at the same time, I've already done this. I have made videos over the span of a year for this, and I know people got very confused in my last video when me explaining, like, yeah, it took me a year to get to level 165. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't take me a year to get it, but because of the updates coming out, you couldn't physically get to certain levels. That's why it had taken me that entire time to get to that level, whereas I know it is possible to get from level 1 to 165 within a week. I know that, I know that guys, it's, it's okay, we know that, but today's twist is having to do with the weapon in my hand right here. Not only is this series going to be a warrior series, because my last one has been a mage series, we have a secret twist. So, as you can see, I am a tour. we have different variants of the bronze dagger, which is, well, kind of, that's a bronze longsword, but... You get what I mean. So, the original bronze dagger, before upgrades, before anything, has a physical damage of 6 and a spell power of 1, which is a level 1 spell, by the way. But mine is a bit different. So, this is the purple bronze dagger, which is like the best one that you can really get and has physical damage of 12 when fully upgraded. But, uh, the bronze dagger we are going to be using today is going to be V. Kathy's bronze dagger, and it has a physical damage of 999999. And a spell power of 9001 with a requirement level 1, upgrades 1, and sell 1. I did ask you guys what I should do for this series, and you guys said that I should do the bronze dagger, be a warrior, and only use this dagger. Obviously, we're going to use this dagger throughout the entire time. This is the only weapon we are going to be able to use in the entire series. We're not going mage. We are not going anything else. We are staying with warrior, staying with this bronze dagger, and you guys will be able to decide what happens along my journey. If you guys want me to try with armor, without armor, let me know, or even with or without spells, because we all know that spells can be very overpowered here. So I think it's like fair that we jump into a dungeon and do our first desert temple here on video. This is crazy to think that I'm finally going to be doing this. So let's create the dungeon let's just go let's just do hardcore mode let's just jump into it we're just gonna start this with a bang obviously we cannot do medium mode yet because that is level six maybe we can reach level six and do a medium a dungeon but there is no point in stalling any longer we're jumping in to desert temple oh my goodness this is very like oh my nostalgic like oh 
you guys have no idea. I'm very excited for the series, mainly because I don't really get anything out of the series. I have everything that I want on my main account. I have some of the best gear on my main account in Volcanic Chambers, which is the one I'm still going to be doing updates on and all of those types of videos. But this is just a little fun account to have fun on with you guys. And we are going to be streaming progress for this as well. So do pay attention to four streams because I am super duper excited for it because streams, leveling up, going to have fun, playing with you guys as well. And obviously you guys can join me along in this as well. So we know that we are going to one shot. It is not going to take us long to start one shotting these because we're going to one shot for quite a while. But now being a warrior, we're actually going to get right in close to the action because I know what I say in my main videos is warrior is kind of like a secondary mage in the later dungeons because of all of the abilities and hopefully we start getting some warrior abilities. I feel like I should put all of my stats into health. I have not actually got any stats right now because I wanted to start this off legitimately as what a level one would experience this dungeon as because you don't really get a stat point. So that's why we don't have any extra health but we are going to be leveling up so we would have leveled up so we're going to put that in stamina just so we have that extra bit of health and see how we go. So we're in the second room right now. I think the thing about desert is I really wish we could revamp this dungeon. I think it needs a new look or something along those lines. Maybe like you're in a pyramid going through it. I don't know, maybe a storyline, but I think this is actually great that we actually get to experience this with you guys. I know I've said this on streams and I've wanted to like do this for a long time, but I know noob to pros can be very boring. I know people will be like, yeah, I don't find it boring. It's, I know, I understand that. But with everyone doing the same series right now of noob to pro and people wanting me to do this series, I said, well, let's add a twist to it because we're not going to have all the time in the world to do this series, mainly because I do have a full time job now. And I feel like I don't want to add extra pressure onto myself as well with it because um, we all know I stress myself out a lot all the time and I do have the tendency to overthink and overdo things a lot like when I first played Dungeon Quest I was playing it like 12 to 15 hours a day at the beginning and then I was playing it like 12 to 20 hours a day and I wasn't sleeping and I wanted to try and get out as much content as I can but while we are doing these episodes we're actually going to show you the best way to actually defeat these dungeons and the best way to do anything so this is our sand giant and we now oh my goodness I forgot to turn my notifications but thank you for subscribing but thank you sand giant we have actually leveled up and ooh, we actually got a skill and that is going to be the whirlwind which spins at high speeds hitting everything around you and at the physical damage so we're gonna be using that as well but it looks like we can actually jump into the next dungeon as well and for everyone asking me about the dagger I said as a joke in yesterday's video that I was going to sell it if I got a certain amount of views I honestly would not do that unless I had Vinny's permission so uh Vinny if you're watching this uh can I sell this <laughs> <laughs> Can I sell it as a complete meme? It literally sells for one coin. I mean, wh what do you want me to do? It sells for one coin, but um, let's see. We are now level eight though, so we can actually jump into the next dungeon. We're gonna go medium. Let's just do hardcore mode. We might as well. We're one-shotting them anyway. Might as well. We're just gonna jump in and we're gonna have fun. And every single time, obviously, that you guys are gonna see this, it's going to be a different dungeon. So today's episode is Desert Temple. Tomorrow's is going to be winter. And obviously, as we go through, we're gonna be showing you everything that we get as well and all of the drops. So you will not miss out. So hopefully, this weekend, we'll be streaming the brand new series. So make sure if you guys are not already subscribed, do consider subscribing and also hit the post notifications to be notified when I go live. And uh, I kind of want to bring this up now is everyone would like me to do a video let me just put my health up just a little bit probably should have done it before I got into the dungeon but people want me to do a video for when I unbox my silver play button uh I'm not sure if I will do a separate video on it I'm not entirely sure we'll just have to see how that goes maybe we'll do that but I'm not entirely sure so let's actually test out this skill it's been a while and I've never used warrior skills here in the dungeon so okay okay so that might just be the way to go right now hold on Ooh, we're, we're working out things right now as I said I haven't done this on video I literally got carried in my first few dungeons I just like hiccuped mid-sentence but I actually got carried my first few dungeons here and I didn't really get to learn the game from the base I know in winter I just ended up 
annihilating it and streaming it and having like the best time ever. So yeah, this is actually interesting to see that we're actually going this high and we're actually going to do it. We're just gonna put everything in stamina. We're gonna bother touching physical. Maybe that could be the trigger as well. Maybe we won't put anything in the physical for like the first few dungeons and maybe we'll just run off of health because we're definitely gonna need health and we're definitely gonna need some armor continuing on on this. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of rounds off off camera obviously oh my goodness and I feel like I've been playing this for a long time like getting my passion back for dungeon quest is something that I've wanted to do for so long I in the first ones with me I have not played dungeon quest uh properly in probably six seven months I do videos I do updates and everything like that but I haven't properly played dungeon quest and had fun while playing it mainly just due to the fact of updates being very very slow and i suppose starting from right here is meaning that we don't have to worry about updates on this account we can just play the dungeon for what it is and i love dungeon crawlers and obviously if there are other game modes like this that you guys would like me to try out and do a noob to pro on them so for example I don't know, Treasure Quest, Rumble Quest, there's new ones apparently coming out, people keep contacting me on Discord to like partner with them for their new games, but I'm not sure what do you guys think we should do, should we try out new games and compare them to Dungeon Quest or not? So here is our Sand Giant, he's now on 600 health compared to the first one, so hello Mr. Sand Giant, and we're gonna defeat you with our first skill, thank you very much, and ooh! Ooh, okay, we got a healing spell and we got a new spiked club, but uh, we're not using any of the weapons We're just gonna go straight and keep the spells and the armor, which we still haven't gotten yet, but that is okay, so This is going to be the first episode for noob to godly and I am super excited We have literally jumped back in time right now to over a year ago when I first started this game and it's It's been a wild ride since then. I first started Dungeon Quest with like what? 20,000, 25,000 subscribers, and now we are at 102,000. That's absolutely insane. You guys have been in my community and been people that I love and adore for so, so long. And I think that you guys are just the best in the world. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my amazing community. And thank you guys so much for wanting to support me in this current series. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's brand new series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Also hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video or start a stream because this is going to be happening and we're doing a lot more as well. So yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day or night and we'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye guys!